A lot of people seem to assume that electricity always goes into the ground. But why is that actually, and is it even true in the first place? So we can all imagine plenty of situations where electricity goes into the ground. Um, let's say you, you get zapped by an electric fence, right? You touch uh, the fence wire and the electric current goes through you and then into the ground. <laughs> or maybe even worse, you touch a live wire from an outlet and you get zapped in very much the same way, except it hurts 10 times as much. Therefore, in electrical systems, uh, earthing, which is you know, connecting things, connecting exposed metal parts uh, to the ground, is an important safety measure that we've actually talked about before uh, on this channel. So, to a lot of people, electricity wanting to go into the ground is the most normal thing in the world. But then if you think about it in another way, it actually doesn't make a lot of sense. So here's a very simple example, right? Let's say that I want to connect a light bulb uh, to a battery. Now, most of us will know that in order to do this, we're going to need two wires, right? We need to connect one side of the light bulb uh, to the positive side of the battery, and we need to connect the other side of the light bulb to the negative side of the battery. So that way, the electric current can flow from positive, then through the light bulb, and then back into the negative side of the battery, so that we have this, this full circle, right? If I just connect the light bulb to the positive side of the battery, nothing's going to happen, right? Because the, the circuit is incomplete. So if we put things in this perspective, all of a sudden electricity disappearing into the ground seems extremely weird, if not completely impossible. So then why does it happen? Is the ground some kind of exception to this rule? Well, that all has to do with the way things are wired up. You see, let's take the power grid as an example. In the power grid, of course, there is a live and a neutral wire. But the neutral side of the power grid is actually connected to the earth. So at the substation and the power station and various other places in the power grid, there are big metal posts that go into the ground that are connected to the neutral wire. So if you touch a live wire on the electricity grid, the current can actually flow through you into the ground and then all the way through the ground back to one of those posts, back into the neutral wire and all the way back to the power station. So it seems that the electricity simply disappears into the ground and is gone, but actually the ground is simply a wire through which the current can flow back to one of those ground electrodes. The same thing happens with the electric fence. The module that generates the high voltage actually has two wires coming out of it, and one of those wires is connected to the fence, which you see when you touch it, the other one goes to some kind of metal post that someone stuck into the ground. So when you touch that fence, the current goes through you into the ground and then through the ground all the way back to that metal ground post and back to the power source. So at the end of the day, there is nothing special about the earth or the ground that makes electricity want to go into it. It just sometimes happens to be part of the electric circuit. And that kind of makes sense if you think about it, right? Because why would the Earth in particular be a special place that electricity wants to go into? I mean, the Earth is just an object in space. Why wouldn't ground be, let's say, the Moon or Mars or Venus, right? Or why wouldn't the ground be the Sun? I mean, the Sun is much bigger than the Earth, so it would make more sense if that's the ground, right? And the answer to that question is, there is no the ground. Ground is a local thing, it's a local reference. So here on Earth, with our power grid, we've chosen the Earth as our reference, right? That's our ground. Uh, but in my mobile phone, inside this mobile phone, which is not connected to the, to the ground in any way, its ground is just the negative side of the battery that is inside it. And if you're in an aircraft or in the International Space Station, Ground is just a frame of the spaceship that you're in, right? It's also nothing to do with the actual Earth. All right, so I hope this cleared things up a little bit and that you're perhaps a little bit more familiar with the concept of ground or Earth. Um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Uh, and of course, thank you for watching.